Hey everyone and welcome back. My friend Jelena is here and we want to share with you what some of her Sephora sale recommendations are as far as products that she loves and then also her wish list. So the Sephora, I don't know what they're going to title it this year. I'm we're making this before I have the flyer, but typically it's called the VIB sale, but they've also kind of deemed it the Beauty Insider sale. But anyways, it's the upcoming sale that starts on April 26th for Rouges. And I've already filmed my recommendations and wish list, so today we're just going to focus on Jelena's, which I think is great because this is going to give you another point of reference. I mean, we're similar in what we enjoy. Um, as far as makeup, but her skin tone is different, just a hair, and you know what, we're different people, we like some different products, mm -hmm. and so this is going to give you the opportunity to have, you know, somebody else's opinion, and she loves makeup, she's very much into products, and trying new things, and she has great recommendations, I mean, uh, I've shared this with you guys, like, oh, my friend Jelena told me to buy this, or my friend Jelena bought this for me, and so if you're curious on my wish list and recommendations, I think... I'm putting mine up after I film this video, but if it is already up, I will put it in the description box, um, my this year's wish list and recommendations. Anyways, this is all about Jelena, so oh. let's get into what <laughs> Jelena loves and definitely recommends that you buy. Oh, thank you. And then I haven't seen hers, so I don't know, so it'll be interesting to see if we that have any uh, crossover or anything, and then I really didn't think too much about it before coming here, so... Um, I just asked her, I said, hey, yeah, write so some I, of your favorites down. Yes, yeah, so I looked through what I brought, and then, um, you know, because I usually travel with favorite stuff, and then I scrolled through some of my recent purchases to see if there's anything, so. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I'll just go on my list. I wrote it down, so that way I have it. And Doesn't want to miss anything. Yes, and I had it all organized until I messed it up, but it's that's fine. okay. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'm very disorganized within my organization, so yeah. there's that. Yeah, I know. I, if it was organized, I'd probably have trouble finding it. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, and that we're very different in that. I am super unorganized at home. I want to be, but I'm not, and that's okay. If something's put away, I can't find it. So. That's okay. That's what friends are for. Yes. Like, if we lived closer, I'd come over and be like, okay, I you're know. doing your work. I'll just organize this for you for a little bit. I know. I told her, I was like, I just need you to come, and like, here's my card, and drop you off at... Um, Home Hobby, goods, Hobby, Hobby, Hobby Lobby, Lobby, whatever, and say, here, go. <laughs> that would be fun. Like, I would love to do that, you know? Yeah. That's my that's my thing is I love to do, like, a little bit of decorating and help people figure out, like, what are your, what do you love and how we can incorporate that into your style. And yeah, it's like a, it's a dream that I never followed. So I don't and know if it'll day, ever happen. There's still time. You haven't done it yet. Well, that's true. Maybe. That is true. Maybe in the future. But yeah, so Perhaps. I just love makeup. I love everything about it. Um... And so being able to share it, I normally just, you know, Chelsea gets all these texts like, oh, you need this or look at my makeup today. Uh -huh. And so, so um, this is extra special because yeah. I, I really like to have videos on my channel that just aren't like me, like, you know, like well, what other people, you know, yeah, well, thanks for letting me. Oh, well, of course. This is like a you. thing you have to do. Yeah. So, all right. So my first one is, um, the milk makeup, um, uh, liner, um, there's not a whole lot of color selection, but I have the brown one. I use it all the time. I've been dying to use it. I've been trying to use up a Lancome um, eyeliner. It's like this big now, so I don't think I can wow. sharpen it anymore, wow. but I've been dedicated to using it. Um, it's broken. I have to put the... It's just... I almost brought it, but I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> or proud. I don't know. <laughs> well, you actually told me... She was the one who told me about the makeup liner, which is what prompted me to buy it in January. I think it was or February. And I bought the black one. Okay, and, I haven't tried. And this one that you have is called CEO, and this is like a yes. nice dark chocolatey it's, brown. Yes, and I have the, um, so it's you really, go, yeah, you can go, it'll zoom in on it. It should anyways. I don't know if I can rely so much on this. <laughs> Doing well, what it's supposed to do. You can see the color. But this is a gel eyeliner, mm -hmm. and I'm really enjoying the black version for wa my water, like my yes, alpha I water line. for water line. Yes. Yeah, and I have the, uh, the nude one, which I think is called BCC, maybe? Not, it's know. something like that. And I like it okay, but it gets on my lashes, and so... I don't know just, if I like A nude, nude isn't my favorite. I think that for me, because my eyes are already pretty round and open, that, that when I put a nude in there, I feel like it mm. makes me look weird. Oh, like, my eyes are closed, small and closed in, and so I still put helps. a dark... Well, I don't really... I, just, I break I like, the rules. I like the I dark. Use dark. I dark. Yeah, like but it. I don't use black. I just use brown. I like this one. Yeah, it's... It's a good one. Okay, okay what so else next on my list is this uh, Giorgio Armani um, Power Fabric 
concealer and Never so I have it in the in the shade three it's a little bit light for me so so if three is light then mm -hmm. they must have some really light shades yeah I don't I don't know if there's an un, ones like one or two oh, um, okay but I have it on right now it blends out really nice my under eyes are you know I'm I'm um, almost 36 and my under eyes are probably one of my most challenging areas and so yeah we're kind of I've in used... that same our skin is lived in yes kind of thing so concealer at this yes. gate point and there's certain ones we just don't mm -mm. use I don't like the NARS one that everyone likes no. I don't like that don't like the Tarte, Tarte shape tape, tape. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. nope um I Not tried it lines. because you two told me I had to I but, know um yeah this one's good I there's a by Terry one that I really like mm -hmm. and I've almost used that one up but I just, you know, $70 for a concealer. It's a little obscene. It's a little much. So, um, <laughs> actually, on my wish list is another shade of this. Okay, um, okay. But it's really, Let me see this it's really good. Here. It's really thin. Oh, yes. It blends out Sear well. Me. Um, yeah, Sear and me. that's what I look for in a concealer for my under eyes. I don't use concealer on my face because um, if I use it over a blemish, I just pick oh, at it anyways, really, which is terrible. But It's really serumy. Do you see how thin that is? That's nice. Yeah, it blends it's more, out. It's more like um, skincare, kind of. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not makeup-y. So yeah. that's, that, that's nice. Yeah, I'm okay. not sure if it has skincare in it. It may or may not. But I might have to add that to my wish list. Yeah, it's it's worth a gander. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she knows her stuff. She she recommends wonderful things. Like, Jelena doesn't buy... Well, if she does, then she's like, okay, doesn't use it or is declutters mm -hmm. it. Because it's like, what's what's the point of having something that's less right. than good? Right, and I all, you know, I've tried a lot. And so mm -hmm. she's better at trying new things than I am because she's like, Oh, did you see this? I'm like, No, I was trying not to buy it. And she's like, yeah. Well, I bought it and it's really great. I'm like, Don't tell me that. I know. <laughs> yeah, so, blush is one of my favorites. Um, I think it's just, it brings so much youth to your face. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I really encourage people who don't wear blush to wear it. And mm -hmm. then uh, this Marc Jacobs Air Blush, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Air Blush. Um, Still haven't bought that. Yeah, I have it in Lush and Libido. Pretty pink. Um, it's a, it's, I have it on right now, mm -hmm. so it's a pretty neutral. I mean, it pulls a little warm on me because everything pulls warm on me. Mm -hmm. um, me too. But it lasts all day. This is one that I can, at the end of the day, I'm like, oh my gosh, my blush is still on. And so it's one for the longevity that I would really recommend. I wish there were more colors because I don't really... That's what I was um, going to add to this conversation was... Yeah, that? there's not a good color selection and there aren't any others that I personally want and I wish there were. This is a nice cool toned pink. Yeah, it looks so cool toned on you and then on me. It Isn't looks that crazy? Um, Skin tone really changes yeah. so much. Um, yeah, and I'm just... I oh, pull out the warmth in everything. So. I really like that. It's like a cool tone pink like mm -hmm. my polish is here. That is beautiful. I yeah. still, I know a years ago when these first came mm -hmm. out, you told me to buy this and I just never, I didn't listen. Yeah, so that's the one brush, one blush I chose to bring. Okay, I'm um, I do that have on my wish list right now. Go and ahead. I can do right now. I don't have it with me because I didn't bring it, but the Jouer blushes are really nice too. Oh, I have one of the duos and I think that six pan one that has, I mean, there's a couple of colors that... I didn't know um, it was a six-pan one. Yeah, it's really... It's like $42 or something. I'm not going to buy it because the colors I like in it, I already have. Mm -hmm. um, and there's this really um, beautiful orange color that would look amazing on other people and not on me. But it would be worth looking at. Okay. Okay. Um, this is really pretty, guys. <laughs> it is. I think it would look better on her than me. Mm. But just it just lasts so well. Mm-hmm. All right, so foundations, I love trying new foundations, um, but one that I just put it on and it's like, it just, it goes on so smooth mm -hmm. and I have it on right now. And it um, looks good in person. It doesn't okay. look makeup-y. You can't see like foundation settling anywhere. Mm -hmm. It looks very skin-like. You can see how her skin's kind of yeah. like just glowy. Yeah, and it's not a matte. Um, it's, it doesn't say, well, here, I'll show you what it is. It's the Shiseido, um, it's not even... I think I, I have it on focus on both okay. of us, so I don't know if it's going to do the auto zoom or not, but it, I can, well, it's, it's the Shiseido Synchro Skin Lasting Liquid Foundation, and it does has an, have an SPF of 20, I think, oh, yeah, yeah, but SPF it's, of sun, sunscreen, SPF, yeah, it's, oh, sorry, <laughs> I can't read, apparently, <laughs> you say it, uh, 
It has an SPF of 20. Mm -hmm. um, it, I think there was both physical and chemical sunscreen. Yes, so if you're yes. sensitive to that, so Chelsea unfortunately can't use it because of her sensitivity. But it's just, it's smooth. It's, it's a very light coverage. I like a light coverage foundation. I'm not into full coverage unless I can really sheer it out. Um, I don't cover my freckles because mm -hmm. um, I think it'd be look weird. I have lots of freckles on my chest too, mm -hmm. so it'd be weird having freckles from, you know, from here down and mm -hmm. then a clean slate on my face. So I gravitate towards um, thin, skin-like, uh, medium, light coverage foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, foundation. <laughs> Things that look really just pretty mm -hmm. person to person, like we are inches apart. And I would say you, it doesn't look like she's wearing this. It's just really nice. It's very flattering. You know, it's not like mask-like or anything like mm -hmm. that. So if you're used to full coverage, you might this, not like this no. um, at all. Um, however, if you're, maybe you want to take a break from a full coverage look and you want to use something that will give you like still coverage but look like skin. You know? Right, it just kind of evens everything out. So um, one thing like. that does drive me a little bit crazy is the packaging is asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. And the lid has to be, and it's it's a weird thing, so mm. it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> not a deal breaker, but um, all right. So the next thing I have on my list, this is something I've been I've used for a long time, and I always go back to it. I'm really not very committed to any one makeup product. I just try lots use of all kinds of stuff. I don't. I'm not consistent with stuff. Um, but this Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer mm -hmm. in Sweet Tea has been a longtime favorite of mine. Um, it has a, like a sheen to it, mm -hmm. but it's not, it know, gives, it's not sparkly. It's not a matte bronzer. It gives you a nice, healthy glow to your face. Now, would you say, I wouldn't no. say it's like chunky, chunky sparkle. It's more just like of a glow once you yeah. blend it out That's onto right. your skin. You can't even see that. But it's I can really, see the glow. It's, okay. Mm -hmm. It's really light. Um, no, and there's no sparkle in it, I don't think. I mean, I have it on. Um, I, I kind of bronze mm -hmm. contour. Yeah. Whatever. It um, works well with her skin tone, but she's a definite fair, mm -hmm. cool undertone skin tone. Um, but it's not, it's still not too warm. And, and you would probably, mm -hmm. if you're fair skin tone, look at that and think, oh, I don't know if that's going to be too yellow. But yeah. it's not. It actually, I just put my brush in the middle and... Mm -hmm. I should have used this. I should have used this to compare because I'm a light... I'm like fair to light skin tone, and I have more of a neutral undertone, but I do like to have a bronzer, but I don't like a bronzer that's too yellow or too golden. I like something that's more like neutral, maybe a little mm -hmm. red undertone too, because that really mimics yeah. my natural red yeah. burning that yeah. occurs for me. Um, but this is pretty, and yeah. the packaging, my daughter loved the packaging. It's yeah, so she saw it. <laughs> cute. Just yes. cuteness. Yeah, and I've used it consistently for a long time. Okay. You know, so far, I don't have any of this. Okay, <laughs> so I'm like, good. ooh, what do I need to try? <laughs> All right, so next on my list. Now, this one, the color that is my favorite that I have on right now um, is out of stock, but there is a ton of colors, and they're on a discount, too, so I don't know if they're going away. I've seen them discounted mm -hmm. uh, many times, but it's the Bite uh, Lip Liner, and this is number 14. Um, so I mean, maybe your store would have it, mm -hmm. um, or maybe it'll come back in stock. But yeah, it, maybe it'll you know. come back. Um, but it's just a mauvey, like a mid-tone mauve. Um, it's got pinky. a little cool undertone. Yes, though. it's it's. Yeah, everything I love cool tones. So that looks like Dior, airy mauve. Oh, it does without the without shimmer. the shimmer. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't have any of these. Would you I, say these like you could eat something and there's a little residual, or are these? Um. Yeah, I mean, I really like them. They're creamy. They go on really well. I filled my whole lip in and then put um, mm, something else. Oh, uh, a Wet n' Wild uh, cat, liquid cat suit lipstick on. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, you know what? I'm super bad about checking. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So I really don't. <laughs> and I don't like liquid lipsticks. Um, mm -hmm. So I really don't care if my lip products last. Um, right, because, because if you like the color, who yeah. cares if it's going to come off? I mean, you're going to just reapply. Yeah, it doesn't you know? wear off nasty. Okay, okay. yeah. It wears off gracefully. Um, so, and it, it's been a while since I wore this one, and so I, I specifically pulled it out to bring, and I was like, oh, why haven't I worn this? It's pretty. Um, it actually is a very good color with that blush. Mm -hmm. It's pretty together. Yeah. So I have it on now. The lipstick that I put on over it is almost the same color, and then mm -hmm. the lip gloss I put over that is almost the same color, too, which is... Um, Actually, I have it sitting right here. 
So this is something I keep in my purse. I go to, it's a little bit sticky, but it's not terrible, but I love this color. It's pretty. Um, it's the Tarte H2O Gloss in Room Service. Okay, so I know my friend so. Amy is watching. And Amy, this is a you color. Um, she, her next question is to be like, is this a must have? Because she always asks me, is this a must have? <laughs> in my you know, opinion, this. It's so very, it's, right it's, here. Cool. it's cool tone. It mm -hmm. stays true to being a cool tone, even on me. Um, I just, I like it. Like it, it lives in my purse, so it's one that I go to. It's called Room Service, and it's by Tarte. It's their H2O gloss. It's got yeah. a, some water droplets on the cap. It's just a really pretty, like, summer-esque, this mm -hmm. time of year, gloss. Um, I like it. Yeah. The cooler undertones of yeah, this. Yeah, me too. And that's why I really like it. It's because the cool color of it. Um, so it is a little bit sticky, but it doesn't bother me. It, there's enough pigment for it to stand on its own, but mm -hmm. uh, it also works well with others. This would be a pretty combo. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. This For me, this kind of color falls into what would be my and your like nude mm -hmm. kind of like a nude with a little bit of pigmentation yes. to it but not like a nude peach or a nude brown or a nude mm -hmm. nude nude beige um just a definite <laughs> like a little a little hint of pigmentation but yet yes. you could do it with like a smoky eye and still feel mm -hmm. like you know you're getting your nude yeah or put it on with nothing else mm -hmm. you know it's like what a, a mom color mm -hmm. where you can have nothing else on and just want a little something yes um put it on in the car um, your big shades, your baseball cap, <laughs> yeah. your hair is and greasy, but you have a fabulous lip. Yeah, so, so if you like cool tones, I would say definitely um, look into that one and see. Take a gander. Yes. Okay. All right. So the next one is... Okay, I'm going to try this on while we're okay. talking. I, I literally brought makeup remover because yes. I saw that color. I'm like, okay, I need to try yeah, that Yeah, and on. I brought this uh, for her to try this color. Specific. <laughs> yes, exactly. Specifically, um, I have a few of these. My favorite one, I couldn't find. My daughter reorganizes my stuff and plays and things, and so I couldn't find it. She's two. Yeah. She's, yeah <laughs> you she's know that age. Two. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, last time I was here, I was seven months pregnant with her. Uh huh. So, Looking fabulous. Oh, thanks. I, yeah, her, her daughter's like, I thought you looked different, or she said uh -huh. something like, you looked really different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because I'm probably like 50 pounds lighter. Yeah, she's <laughs> missing a human. Not that, but, but you know. Yeah, I'm, I look like a regular person now. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the, um, it's a Lancome. Um, it's called the Absolute Lacquer, or something like that. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, but these, I read reviews <laughs> It like you probably up. saw my face. It just scared her. It popped <laughs> it up. Like, it came out yeah. for her. It came out a lot quicker than I was expecting. Oh, that color. Um, oh, my gosh. So I read reviews on these, and um, they're kind of mixed because they do have a little bit of a fragrance. Um, what color? This is number 366. Oh, yeah. I didn't write down the number. 366. I, I think 306 or 308 is my favorite one. It's a neutral mauve nude. <laughs> um, it's rose something, I think. But, um, so this is like a liquid, yes. but not dry, like matte liquid, but like a opaque pigmented light, uh, serum lip, yes. like lipstick. And it maintains its shine. And, um, so, but you have to kind of follow the rules and use it specifically. It layers on itself. And so you're supposed to do thin layers and then it will build up the color. So if you do a a thicker layer it will get kind of icky um, but if you do a thin layer and then let it dry and then put another layer on and let it dry and you I think it says one two or three layers but um, it maintains its shine it's not you know transfer proof but it's transfer resistant and I just I really like them I would say it reminds me of like a East Saint Laurent glossy stain mm -hmm. exactly and the applicator is really nice too it has kind of a it's a precision it comes to a point, and so you can put it on pretty precise. It will last a long time. And the, with the shine lasting, um, she was wearing a different color earlier, and I was like, what gloss do you have on? And she's like, I don't. It's just that yes, that lip color. Yes, yeah, she, so. in our Get Ready With Me, I used one of these, but in a different color, and that's what I had on before I took it off just now. And it was glossy, but oh, such a pretty gloss. Not like, mm -hmm. you know. And it won't last all day. But it lasts 
quite a while. And I think uh, it would be worth looking at them in person. I was at Ulta the other day and I was trying to find another shade to buy because, you know, I need to add to my it's 100. It's like, like you find a favorite shirt, you find a favorite <laughs> yes. shirt and then you go back and you buy it in every color because yes. you like how it wears, you like how it fit, feels and fits. And mm -hmm. same thing with makeup. Yeah, and I think I have four colors, but, um, and I think that's a good, like the other one's like, oh, it's good, it's nice, but I think on me, like with if it's warm tone, mm -hmm. it's going to look orange on me. Mm -hmm. And so, um, this is a nice, yeah, this is a, a nice, nice springy pink summer, mm -hmm. even fall color, winter, oh, whenever, whenever you want to wear it. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> wear it whenever you want. Next thing I have on my list is, um, another gloss. I really like gloss, mm -hmm. glossy lips. It's the Pat McGrath lip glosses. So these are a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. I think they're $28. Mm -hmm. Um, this is in the shade secret lover. Um, I have another one at home. I think I have two more at home. I have Angelique or something like that. I don't remember, but um, I really like the formula of them. Um, um, it's it's a, opaque, mm -hmm. and so you can use it. Um, you know, for me, it's kind of this. Also, I keep in my purse. It's one of those. It's like, oh my gosh, I did everything but my lip color mm -hmm. today, which happens on a regular basis for me. Ooh, and um, see how opaque it is. Now that one has a little bit more of a red quality mm -hmm. to it. I mean, it's like a, uh, ooh, ooh, I like that color. Jolena, why are you showing me all this <laughs> stuff? Yeah, this one is like a your lip color, but mm -hmm. glossier. It's this one. See, it's more red compared to the, yeah. the Tarte so one. That's the Lancome and then the Tarte. Yeah. Oh, girlfriend, yeah. this is pretty too. I know there's been, you know, on YouTube complaints about the packaging being kind of cheap, but, you know, it's, if and there's a lot of colors. They just added a ton more colors to their line. Mm -hmm. So I think there's something for everyone. Okay. And then they have those little, um, which, trio sets? yes, the trios, they have a couple of trios, um, in the glass. And that's another thing on my list is the lipsticks in the little trios. Yes. Um, they're tiny lipsticks they're that I really trans. like. Mm -hmm. Yes. The matte trans lip mini Sets. And there's two of them. There's like a nude shade color range and a bright, mm -hmm. or like a red. Um, but they're really good. And they're $25, I think, for three. So you probably get less product, but you tr you get to try the colors. And if you really like something, mm -hmm. you can repurchase it. Right. Um, you get to try the formula without committing to one solo lipstick. Mm -hmm. You get to try more than one color, and mm -hmm. then you get to try the formula. Yeah. So. And the formula is really good. It's super opaque. Um, I was kind of joking. I was like, it was love at first swipe when I put it on um, yeah. the first time. So those, and then the glosses come in those trios, mm -hmm. and I think that those are good. I didn't buy a trio because uh, the one that I liked, I already had the gloss set, was my favorite, so mm -hmm. I just didn't think it was worth it. I like minis too because if you're a junkie yeah. <laughs> and you have a lot of <laughs> options, there's no need to buy the full size unless you know you're going to wear it mm -hmm. all the time. Like, just get the smaller size. It fits better in a purse anyways. It fits better for traveling. Mm -hmm. um, I And I like that. On your pocket one. if mm -hmm. you're um, on the go, if you really wanted to. But, right, right. Yeah. And then I have another glass. Because <laughs> I, I looked through what I brought, and then I went through my purse and found I only have lip products in my purse um, that I carry with me mm -hmm. if I carry a purse. Mm -hmm. Um but Me this too. I is, only carry lip products. Yeah, this is the Smashbox. Um, this is the Los Angeles line. Now, this is when I went into Macy's to buy something specific, um, and I was uh, just looking around and I swatched this, and they were out of what I needed. But I bought this with no intention of buying a gloss. Um, I hadn't even seen these. Yeah, there is when I was at Ulta. There was another. It doesn't look the exact same. Well, it's <laughs> slightly different. So, if you don't want the Pat McGrath one in Secret Lover, you could get this one in uh, Celeb is the name of it. It's right there. It's They're really the close. <laughs> it's it's pretty close. I'd say the Celeb has a little bit more pink quality to it, maybe. Uh, or even like a... Yeah, it's, mm, they're really... They're really close. But you wouldn't be able to tell on the lips. So the difference is going to be formula and price. Yeah, I think the Smashbox one was about 19 Okay. 18 or $19. That, that's so a it was good really price. affordable. That's a good price. And it's um, I not... I mean, it's a gloss, so it's not going to last you all day, but it's opaque. Um, is it a thicker formula than maybe the Pat McGrath, the Smashbox? Maybe a thicker, I, I think or? they're kind of equivalent, to be honest. Okay. Um, 
I don't know. The Pat McGrath looks a little more sheer. Slightly. Yeah. Well, I also swatched it without re oh, um, okay. dipping it in. Okay. So I think they're, as far as opaqueness, they're pretty equivalent. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to see how it's moving the hairs on my hand around. Oh. <laughs> Um, so, but those are both, um, pretty options, pretty options, every worth day, taking easy, a look at. throw it in your purse, put it on, mm -hmm. don't have to worry about it. I would, I would use a mirror for each of, each of those to put it on, but, um, but it's opaque where you can add it to an already done face, but you can share it out mm -hmm. if you don't have a lot on. Mm -hmm. All right. And then last on my recommendations list, um, this is the beach walk, um, or the replica beach walk perfume mm -hmm. um i have a full size of it this is my like signature go-to scent mm -hmm. all times of the year i don't care if it's winter or not i don't think my husband really likes it i was wearing something else the other day and he told me like five times oh he smells so good he smells so good oh. and so but one thing i really love about this one is when i get hot and sweaty it smells good mm -hmm. and i can smell myself in a good way mm -hmm. when i get hot uh, so this is so a beach smell. This mm -hmm. is going to be like coconuts. Like. Yeah, I don't recall what the scents are. Um, so Mason Martin Margiela is the brand. And then um, Beach Rock. There's other scents. Um, so this is in the fresh family of scents. Um, it's a fresh floral. The key notes are bergamot, heliotrope, and coconut milk. For mm -hmm. me, um, this is going to be kind of similar to like Bobby Brown Beach. I don't um, like that one. I don't like that one. Bobby Brown mm -hmm. Beach comes off a little more sunscreen-esque. This one is a little bit more fresh floral. Mm -hmm. It's very fresh. With some coconut. And it's not overwhelming and mm -hmm. overpowering this either. Nice. So I really, I really do like it. And this is a good time to buy perfumes because perfumes, as we know, are spendy. And if you can get 20% mm -hmm. off. Then yeah, like, it's $125 for the, it's a 3.4 four ounce. Which is they a don't huge have a, bottle. Yes, yeah. they don't have a smaller option. I've had this rollerball for a long time, and I got it the rollerball first, and then I think like two years ago, I finally purchased the big one, and I I barely used it. They have a it. travel spray of it now too. Okay, that would be even better than I the would roller prefer ball. that than a roller yeah. ball. Yeah, as I put it on today, it's like dripping down. Yeah, I prefer a spray over a roller yeah. ball any day, and sometimes I even find that a roller ball smells different than a spray. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that has to do with the air being sprayed in the perfume, I or don't know. Maybe or versus it, rolling the scent. Maybe it yeah, squashes it something. I don't know, but. I prefer the spray. Yeah, yeah, I would too, but it wasn't an option. when I, I think I went through a whole rollerball, and then I bought another one, and then I was like, okay, I need to buy the full size. Okay. And yeah, so as far as my recommendations, that's what I have on my list. So and this is this has been great, and I'm yeah. really happy that we were able to do this and to bring you guys, you know, your attention to some things at Sephora that you may have otherwise overlooked. Mm -hmm. But now you have someone who's uh, who's... I mean, I'm telling you, she has great taste in makeup. Oh, you can absolutely you. trust her opinion. She is not leading you astray. She's leading me over to these things here, too. <laughs> so we're going to go to Sephora today, and we're going to go have a serious swatch fest and yes. just kind of check things out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to link below a playlist of my uh, prior uh, wish list items. Um, I'm going to link the new videos below, too, if they are already up. If not, they will be up soon. And I thank you guys so much for watching. We had yeah. so much fun doing this. Well, thank this. you for letting me share yes. everything. Yes, you're so, welcome anytime. Thank you. So have a fabulous rest of your day, and we'll chat soon. Bye, Bye guys.